I really like the character of the wolf in Hairless Wolf. This is a pretty decent Bugs Bunny cartoon. This was released in 1958, directed by Fritz Freeling and written by Warren Foster. And we have voices by Mel Blanc and June Foray. And it starts off rather wonderfully with this um, wolf kind of lazing around in a chair and his wife screeches at him. And I don't know why, but it took me by surprise. And I laughed. I laughed a lot. And she says, there's nothing for dinner. You need to go and shoot a rabbit. And of course, the wolf goes off and, and tries to do this. And he comes across Bugs Bunny. And in true Bugs style, Bugs does everything he can to try and outsmart the wolf to prevent himself from being shot. Will he succeed? Of course, I'm not going to answer that question. But I, I rather enjoyed it. it. It had an almost wily e. Coyote feel to it in, in so far as... The wolf was trying trick after trick after trick. The way it was edited just felt a little bit more like a Wile E. Coyote cartoon. But I do think that's where the similarities end. Although, I guess the wolf in appearance, kind of, slightly... He doesn't look anything like Wile E. Coyote, to be honest. Um, but I think there are some pretty clever things that he tries. I love the execution of a lot of his plans. Often they go wrong, of course. Um... And Bugs, I thought, was particularly clever. I really enjoyed it. I don't want to give too much away about the intricacies of the narrative. There wasn't anything in particular that stood out to me as being worthy of mentioning with a spoiler warning. I think it was just an overall feeling of rather enjoying the cartoon from start to finish. It's well animated. The pacing is really good. I really like the character of the wolf. I think it had a lot to offer and... I think the setup of the wolf being at home with his wife and then going out gave it just a little bit more substance than if it was just starting from him being out hunting. And I kind of liked how that part of it all resolved or, you know, well, concluded. I won't say what bits were resolved and what was left hanging, but I enjoyed it. I think Hairless Wolf is definitely the best bugs I've seen in a while. Maybe not one of my favourites all of all time, but certainly one of the best I've seen recently. And of course, I do recommend it.